Are you ready to see how incredible the Gospel Library app is at helping you prepare a talk? Stay tuned to the end of the video to see the magic this app can do with the data you compile for a talk. It's seriously so cool. First, be sure to log into your account on the Gospel Library app. Check out the video above for how to log in. I'll also put a link in the descriptions below. For starters, let's say that I've been asked to give a talk on faith in Christ. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the home screen on the Gospel Library app, and I am going to scroll down until I see notebooks, and I'll click on notebooks. And I'm going to come and click on the plus button here, and I will create a notebook called Talk on Faith in Christ. And then I'll come up here and I will click Save. So now I have a notebook on my Gospel Library app that I am going to start throwing information into to help me prepare for my talk. Next up, I'll go to the Gospel Library. I'll look up Gospel Topics and I'm going to look for Faith. So I'm going to click over here on the side. And here we have, I clicked on the F over here on the side, and here we have this one, Faith in Jesus Christ. I read through this gospel topic on faith. I get to this third paragraph here, and I really love what this has to say, and I want to include it in part of my talk. So I'm going to go ahead and select this paragraph, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add To, and this is going to add this to a notebook. So I'll click Add To, and I'm going to choose Talk on Faith in Christ. So now this part in the gospel topics has been thrown into my notebook on in preparing for my talk. I could keep going through and adding things from gospel topics, but say I want to find more content, so I'm going to go ahead and try doing a search. I can come down here and click on search and do a search for faith in Christ. But say I actually just want to limit my search to conference talks. So I can come up here and click collections and choose general conference. Now my search has been narrowed to conference talks that talk about faith in Christ. As I scroll through this talk right here by Elder Ballard sounds very interesting. So I go ahead and click on that. Follow Jesus Christ with footsteps of faith. So I open this talk up and I begin reading through it. And I get down here and I really like his testimony here on Christ and what he testifies to us about Christ. So I'm going to select that. And once again, I'm going to click add to and I'll choose talk on faith in Christ. And if I scroll to the very bottom of this talk, I can even click on the faith tag down here at the bottom and it will take me to other conference talks that were also tagged as faith. Now, I know there's a verse in Alma chapter 32 on faith, but I can't quite remember which verse it is. So I'll start by going to Alma chapter 32 to see what I can find. So we'll come down here and I go to my quick links and click on scriptures and we'll go to Book of Mormon and Alma 32. I don't remember what verse, so I'm going to come up here and click on these three dots in the top right corner and I'm going to click find on page. And I am going to type faith. Then I'll come down here and I'll just click these arrow buttons to see where it takes me. And here we go. Here is the verse that I was hoping for. And now, as I said concerning faith, faith is not to have a perfect knowledge of things. And this is the verse that I was hoping to find. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight this verse. And you guessed it. I'm going to add to and add it to my talk on faith in Christ. And now that verse is thrown into that notebook. At this point, I've added scriptures and quotes to my Talk on Faith notebook. So let's go find that notebook and see what it looks like. All right, so now I'll click on the Home button here and scroll down until I see notebooks again. And I'll go into my Talk on Faith in Christ notebook. And there you have it, a notebook full of quotes and scriptures ready for your talk. You can see here we have the section from Gospel Topics that I added to the notebook. Next up, we have the quote from Elder Ballard in the notebook. And we have that scripture, Alma 32, 21, added to the notebook. But what if I want to add personal stories or thoughts to this notebook? Can that be done? It sure can, and it's super easy. While in the notebook, click on the plus button in the bottom right corner. 
You can add a title for your thought. And then you can add content. You could say that you want to share a personal story on faith. Then you can go ahead and click save. And if you scroll down, you'll see now my personal story on faith has been added to this notebook. So now it's time to show you how the magic works in this notebook. We've gathered scriptures, quotes, personal thoughts, but the problem is they're all in the wrong order. Is there a way to fix that? There sure is. Let me show you how. In the top right corner, click on the three dots, then click edit. Now you can click on the three bars next to your quotes or your scriptures or your comments, and you can drag them where you want them to be to put your talk in the order that you want it to go in. Awesome, right? Now you can scroll through and see your talk is exactly laid out how you want it to be. Once you have them all in the order you want them, you just click done up here at the top. Now your talk is organized in the order that you want it in. You've added your quotes, thoughts, scriptures, and you can go ahead and keep adding more as you do more searching. Isn't this such a great resource? It's so cool the church has provided us with a tool to help us so easily prepare our talks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future content from Gospel Mom Tech.